Hey, hello guys, this is Karthik from ExilAutomation.com and this is part 9 of our Appium with Java video series. And in this part, we're going to start working with advanced interactions in Appium. So before watching this part, I would request you to watch part 8 since this part is going to be a continuation of that part. So in this part, actually, we'll start our discussion to perform long press using Appium. So we're just trying to perform the long press in Appium and see how the long press operation is working using the Android. So let's uh, see what I really mean about the uh, long press. Uh, actually, you'll be using this uh, basically a uh, lot of time while working with your Android uh, operating system. So what I'm trying to say is uh, you can perform some long press operation using your, uh, let's say, a dialer control and you can uh, perform zero if you click click this it will be zero if you do a long press it will becomes a plus so this long press operation which we're going to discuss uh, will be handy if you are going to uh, work with this kind of uh, applications to be automated so for getting these controls we can use the ui automator of uh, android sdk so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to minimize this and then I'm going to start writing the code. So for that, let me first open the uh, UA automator. So it is available in my F colon. Oops. And uh, in the tools, we have the uh, UA automator viewer dot bat. All right. And also, I have ne I need to open the actual uh, Android SDK rather uh, this SDK because it has a problem with handshaking so I'm going to open the AVD manager all right and then I'm going to start this emulator as well so this will take much time to load again so we'll wait for uh, this to completely load up all right so the operating system is now booted so I'm just going to unlock this and uh, now I'm going to open the uh, dialer app. All right, and then let's run the UI automator viewer. And I'm going to choose this emulator. So it's going to take the screenshot. All right, so the next thing we need to do is just to click this particular uh, button uh, to bring me up uh, the uh, dialer uh, button icons so we need to click this uh, dialer button right and then we need to perform the long press for the uh, zero button so that you'll bring the plus symbol right so we'll just start to do one by one so for that let me switch to Eclipse first and this is the same project which we are working in our previous video of this video series and here I'm not going to use uh, this app activity rather we need to use the uh, activity of this particular uh, dialer application so again for understanding for knowing actually what is the activity uh, there is an apk file called uh, apk info so this is an application which we can use to get the information of the particular apk file so you can install that into your particular emulator and you can get to know about that so i have already installed into my actual physical cell phone uh, to get the uh, apk's uh, information and i know uh, what is this particular uh, apk's uh, uh, apk's activity name is all about so i have already written the uh, code as well so i'm going to switch to that particular code and this is the uh, name of that particular uh, APK file, APK's activity. So this is the dialer's activity name. So I'm going to uh, write that in the activity name. All right. And the app package name is going to be uh, com.android.dialers. Uh, that you can get even from your normal UA automator. So the package name is com.android.dialer, right? That you can even get from here, but it doesn't show you the activity name. All right, great. And then we need to actually click this particular button. So that is the next quest, right? So uh, we'll just copy this uh, ID, maybe fully even. 
if you want to and then I'm just going to delete these codes fully and I'm going to just do driver dot uh, find element by ID and I'm going to pass the full ID here and then I'm going to click that particular button so this will bring me up all the number pads right and then uh, we need to then do is uh, once we click that uh, you can see that it's going to bring me up this particular uh, button things right so again uh, I can uh, get all these uh, objects by just doing once again uh, taking the screenshot by refreshing the UI automator viewer so this will now bring me up all this screen right and you can see that this is the button which we are very much interested in so I am just going to click this particular button uh, for a long time and now if you see if you mouse over here it will actually go to uh, just see the resource ID what is that uh, if you hover here it is a dial pad key number and then if you go here it's again the same thing so which means there is no differentiation so we cannot use this particular property to identify this particular control even the plus sign is dialer letter dial pad key letters and this is same for all the buttons so which one is actually distinguishing between them is actually if you just come out a little bit can you see the uh, rectangle is actually changing a little bit uh, and this is the control which we should look for and you can see that it has a ID as zero and it has a content description as zero you can use any one of them this content description is something but your accessibility ID right you can use any one of them so maybe anything you want a zero or the zero uh, the number zero whichever you want so uh, I can go with the uh, ID and then again uh, I'm going to write driver dot uh, find element by ID and then I'm going to pass this ID and then I'm going to just hold this guy in my web element maybe uh, zero I'm just going to give a name here and then I'm just going to hold this guy right so this will actually have my particular control so the next thing we need to do is to perform the long press operation and that's where we're going to introduce a new class called touch action right and this touch action is actually responsible for your long press operation so this is a new class uh, touch action and it expects you to pass the driver and we know uh, this is our driver and here in the actions instance variable you have a uh, method called long press do you see that so here in the long press you can pass the particular web element which we just identified nothing but zero right so uh, let's do a small uh, uh, test here uh, let's do a, a norm a long press zero and then a normal zero operation so I'm going to perform a normal zero operation as well so zero dot uh, click so it will just type a plus zero right so I'm just going to save this code and then the next thing we need to do is uh, go to the Appium server uh, let's stop this thing and uh, I'm going to remove this application path because we're going to use the out of the box application I'm going to remove that and then I'm going to start this guy uh, let's see I'm just going to close this uh, emulator right now uh, okay so the Appium server is up and running so let's try to run this uh, test and see how things works so let's go to our emulator okay just open the dialer pad and oops just type zero but it did not type the ah so sorry for that uh the reason is uh, the long press and then we need to call one more method which is nothing but perform i just missed that i'm sorry so we need to do that as well uh it's more like the action class which is available in your selenium which is available in support.ui uh package of java so you can use uh, it's exactly the same concept actually so you know, I think this class is also inheriting the actions uh, interface so I'm just going to save it 
and now let's see if the appium has just closed this session no maybe we should explicitly call the appium driver to close the session end test method okay the session is just over and now if we try to uh, run this test once again uh, we should see the operation performing all right did you see it just performed the long op press operation and there was a long sound as well uh, coming from uh, the device right and this got passed so that's it guys thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day